Alright lads, so just a quick PSA for you guys out there that don't know this does exist. So, everyone, and I mean everyone watching this, right, if you know someone that plays BBS just offhandly, maybe they have it installed and they aren't playing because they're just a bit bored of it, or they're just doing other things, let them know, let everyone know, right now, in-game, if you do a bunch of orders, you can get yourself a free Mind Special Move source. Now, this is essentially, if you are new to the game, a free dupe for any Mind character. And as you know, if you've been playing the game for a few months now, these are by far one of the rarer things into the game. And we only really ever get one every three or so months. Very unfortunate is like that. It should be once a month, but unfortunately, Caleb aren't ready to give it out to us just yet. It's been like a year now, almost two years since they have incorporated Special Move sources. And we only ever get one once every three months so make sure you lads are doing the event orders we are going to go over them in a minute but for me i just need to do one more five times quest and i am going to get that so let's talk about maybe what character you should use on it and what you actually have to do so what i'm going to do is just auto this quest while i do talk uh, a quick update regarding earlier today's video uh, how did you like it <laughs> the um the yu haka show collab it's coming lads yay <laughs> Uh, that was an April Fool's joke in case anyone is watching this past April 1st. Uh, but essentially, we actually did get an update regarding the uh, two bugs that were happening yesterday. Firstly, it was the banner bug where they have now actually gone ahead and compensated the people that did actually get a non-featured as their guaranteed featured character. So that was actually pretty good. It wasn't a refund like I was hoping for, but the compensation did actually make sense. It was actually quite fair in my opinion. What wasn't fair though was the mistranslation of the guaranteed 6-star summon ticket. So, as we all know, we were all expecting to get a pick a 6-star character yesterday morning, or yesterday afternoon for me, and instead what we got was a trashy 6-star dupe. And a lot of us complained about it. Caleb did say in the news that it was going to be a choose a 6-star, and instead of actually giving us what was promised, even if it was a mistranslation, they just said no. Uh, that was a mistranslation, sorry. Not even five orbs. <laughs> so what we got, lads, was essentially a PS3 in a PS5 box. Is the best way to describe what we did get. It's nice that we got something free. You know, don't get me wrong. But they promised something and we didn't get what we were promised. And, it, you know, even if the, what we did get was free, it's still disappointing. And the fact that we didn't even get a good compensation still does suck. So, that being said, right? A little ramble on right there just to kind of fill up this video. We have now gotten the free mind special move source so what do you actually have to do well it's quite simple you just have to play the game right very very easy stuff to do you have to essentially do 30 co-op games which can be done in a day as you can see the first couple challenges is actually to do 150 single player quests you have 60 soul tickets 50 soul tickets if you don't have the passport so you can bang that out with literally a day maybe two days if you aren't spending orbs and soul tickets like i have been doing you also have to do 30 co-op quests or epic raids if you're playing iz which you should be doing because it is double iz again you can get that out in like half an hour very very easy and then you also have to play 30 brave battles which is pvp that can take a while if you ain't spending orbs but you know there's no rush you have like a month to do it no rush just make sure you are getting this make sure you also do claim it before it does leave and there we go lads look at that beauty a mind special move source so who should you use it on at the end of the day, it's your special move source. Use it on whoever you use. If you want to use it on Mind's Kirio because you love using Kirio, then go ahead and do it. But what I would recommend is whether it's a good character, whether it's a bad character, save that source until you have a character 4 out of 5. It's not really going to benefit you that much if you put on a character that is maybe 1 out of 5, right? For example, let's do, let's do a weird example right now. Candice, for example, is 1-5. She's a very good character, one of the best mind characters in the game. But her getting that focus slot, sure, it's going to increase her DPS just a tad bit, but it isn't going to make that big of a difference. So I'm going to not use on her. If she was someone like Kisuke, for example, who is already 4-5, me getting that final dupe, allowing them to get max transcended, and to allow them to get that 6 slot, is going to greatly benefit the character instead of me just unlocking that second slot. So what I like to do is save my dupe sources for a character that I want to use it on when they are close enough so for example if kisuke wasn't a premium character and wasn't as common as he is because he gets thrown to a lot of banners i definitely would have been using that mind source on him right now but unfortunately i can't do that right now because like i said he's a premium character he's quite common and i'm sure i'm gonna pull him in the future so for me i'm not really sure who i'm gonna use on i'm actually gonna save it like i said if there's no one to use on right now don't rush keep it safe and just use it on a character when you actually can uh for example no noel for example if she was four five definitely would have been used on her i know 
not a lot of people are going to be using her, and she is not a bad character to do so. She is a very good character, very limited too. She's only been back once since her release in October. So if you have her 4-5, she is not a bad character to use on. Same goes for the Ichigo. If you have him 4-5, definitely consider using the swords on him to get him 5-5 to get that extra SP because it definitely is worth it. Looking at my sources right now, what do I actually have? Let me peep. Uh, <laughs> Damn, that's all I got. Okay, so I only have one source now. I actually did use, uh, what, four sources onto Ichigo, so that's why I'm kind of broke. And uh, I did actually use two onto the Power of Rukia, the Captain one. So I'm kind of broke when it comes to sources, but I'm slowly catching them up right now. I actually am going to be receiving a, a Rainbow Source tomorrow, thanks to the Collector's Pass resetting. And it is going to be the third month of me buying it. So there you go, lads. Just a quick PSA. Make sure you take advantage of the event. Farm the point event. Get those 150 single-player quests in. Get those 30 cop and PvP games in. Make sure you get that special move source because it does not come around often. That being said, though, hope you guys did enjoy the video. In the comments below, let me know who you have used it on or who you are going to be using on. I'm curious to know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.